Hey everybody, this is Helena Hart. Welcome to my live stream on six nice girl habits that cause a man to lose attraction and take you for granted. I did a live stream a few months ago where I shared some more of these habits that actually just destroy a man's attraction for you and push him away. And after going through some comments over on that video today, I came up with six more habits that are just so common. These are much more subtle, but you might find that you're falling into doing some of these, especially if you have strong feelings for a man. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my latest videos. I wanna start out by saying that this is not about changing who you are or pretending to be someone you're not or putting walls up and just being bitchy and trying to be this cool girl or ice queen. It's actually the opposite of that. When someone asks my husband what his favorite thing is about me, he always says without hesitation, it's how kind and sensitive I am and how I have a big heart. So this isn't about changing that. If you are a kind, generous person, that's a great thing, but you don't wanna be coming from this place where you're actually covering up your true authentic self and acting out of this fear or feeling that you're not good enough. And you're just doing these nice girl habits to try to make something happen with a man because you just don't feel worthy as yourself for who you are deep down. So when you start to really deeply value yourself and respect and love yourself, you'll actually have access to some of these kind, generous parts of yourself, if that's authentic and true to you, but they're coming from a real place where you can actually attract someone who deeply values and respects you too. I hope that makes sense. If you're with me on that and this is resonating with you, type yes in the comment section, just so I know that everyone understands that. It's really important. The first nice girl habit that I want all women to break is making a man or the commitment or relationship you want with him, the goal or the prize in your mind. This is something I've talked about before in some of my other videos. There's this tendency, especially if you're not attracted to that many people, and then one guy comes along and you finally feel attraction or chemistry with someone, it's easy to put that person on a pedestal without even realizing it. And then from that point, it really drives you to do some of these other things I'm going to be sharing here. There's just this tendency when you really like someone to feel less than them. Has anyone ever experienced that? I know I certainly have. So let me know in the comment section. The second nice girl habit is trying to basically twist yourself into a pretzel to become what you think this man wants to try to become more appealing to him because you don't feel that who you are is enough deep down. So if you really like a guy, you might jump into convincing mode without even realizing it. I use this term convincing mode, and that looks like just trying to show him every single thing you have to offer and prove yourself to him and try to convince him how great the two of you would be together or what an amazing partner you would be. Again, this is very subtle and it doesn't come from a bad place. It's not like you're trying to manipulate this guy. You're just trying to get Get him to like you. And it's actually a very unattractive energy. It pushes people away. Men can feel it. Men and women can feel it when someone's just trying to become what you think they want, right? You want to just turn that around if this is a habit for you. So number three is putting in way more effort than the other person is. I see this all the time. This could look like investing way more in a man than he's investing in you. This could apply to both men and women. My audience is mostly women here on YouTube, so the language I'm going to be using often reflects that. But if someone's not putting in a lot of effort and you have strong feelings for them, if you're caught in number one, especially you've made him the prize or the goal in your mind, there's this tendency to want to just show him everything you have to offer like I talked about in the last one and just do everything like drive to him and cook him meals and be his therapist or counselor and just listen to him and try and solve his problems and pay for all the dates and basically just making things as easy as possible for him. So if a man is not putting in effort that shouldn't drive you to go into overdrive basically and over function and put in more effort just to keep this relationship going or keep it together out of a fear that you'll lose him or he'll slip away if you don't do that. 
So number four is making excuses for a man who's not stepping up. I see this all the time. If you look at the comment sections of some of my other videos, you'll see women making so many excuses for men, giving them way too much benefit of the doubt, where the man's not really doing a whole lot there. He's not really showing up powerfully and consistently for her. But she'll say things like, you know, he's really busy right now. He's going through a transition at work or he's going through a difficult time. And that's why he can't put effort into this relationship. And they're just kind of buying into the excuses he's giving her or they're making excuses themselves for a man who's just clearly not putting both feet in and prioritizing her. So you want to catch that right away if you find yourself making excuses for men. Number five is ignoring your own feelings and needs and desires, basically stuffing those down and just focusing on a man and how he feels. We've all been there, especially women who just are really nice and understanding. They're so reasonable. They tend to not speak up when something bothers them. Like they don't want to set a boundary or a standard or let a guy know if something is bothering them out of a fear that they'll push him away. And again, you can slip into a lot of these without even realizing it. So has anyone ever been there? I know I certainly have. It can be so easy, even if you're with a really great guy, to kind of stuff down your own feelings or desires because you don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to push him away, but it actually does just the opposite. So that's an important one to keep in mind too. And number six is so important. We've all been there and that is staying in the wrong situations way too long, not recognizing a situation or a man for what it really is and moving on when he's clearly showing you or telling you that he's not available or interested in the kind of relationship you want. This could look like waiting for a man endlessly, even when he's not moving things forward and showing up consistently for you or being reliable and dependable. Has anyone ever stayed in a situation or a relationship way too long? That is one of the number one things I want women to turn around. So those are the six nice girl habits. And I really want everyone to follow my podcast. That's what I'm talking about today. My Master Your Magnetism podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or anywhere where you can listen to podcasts. That's where I'm spending most of my time these days. You might have noticed I'm kind of winding things down here on YouTube and putting really all of my energy into my podcast, I can actually take callers and answer questions and connect with women in my community. It's totally free. So just search for Helena Hart or Master Your Magnetism over on Spotify or Apple or really anywhere where you listen to podcasts. And let me recap these six really quick. Number one is making a man the goal or the prize in your mind feeling less than him, which drives you to do some of these other habits. Number two is trying to become what you think he wants, twisting yourself into a pretzel to try to become more appealing to him. Number three is putting in way more effort than this other person is, driving to him, making things as easy as possible. And this includes mental effort, by the way. So if this person that you're obsessing with or overthinking everything with, they're not on YouTube researching videos on how to you know, better their relationship. If that's not happening, happening and they're not putting in that same amount of mental effort or actual effort, then something's off in the dynamic there. Number four is making excuses for a man who's not stepping up. Number five is ignoring your own feelings, needs, and desires, stuffing those down and basically either focusing on the man and how he feels or holding on to those things and not wanting to speak up or set a boundary out of a fear that you're going to lose this person or push him away. And number six is staying in the wrong situations way too long, basically waiting for a man endlessly. I really want everyone to turn that pattern around if this is something that you tend to do. So that's what I have for today. I'm looking forward to seeing you over on my podcast. I'll include links to all of that in the description or episode details. So just click the title of this video. It'll open up the description and all kinds of things will be there for you. Thank you so much, everyone. I will talk with you again very soon.